Matt, a uh, YouTuber and a uh, social media guy in China. You might have known me from Jayomata. Yes, today <laughs> I'm still accompanied by this amazing co-host, Matt. And uh, ever since April the 7th, we've embarked on a journey to explore mm -hmm. the coastal regions in China. And yesterday, we did an amazing live show on a yard in the middle of the ocean. It's amazing, right? I got a little carried away on the jet ski. I was yeah, <laughs> he, all over he the was place. completely crazy. When <laughs> we had a good time. We had a yeah, good time. exactly. But can I remind you, don't go crazy today. Yes. Because now we're at this uh, amazing lab. Yeah, this place is designed to cultivate and grow corals. Um, marine corals are extremely delicate and they're mm -hmm. an important component of the world's ecosystem. And so here they're researching which corals could grow good and better and trying to figure out which species they can introduce back into the wild. Mm -hmm. So today in this live, we're gonna tell you some fun facts about mm. the marine life and the coral, especially the coral. Like you have uh, this huge hobby, huge passion for corals, right? I love coral reefs. It's it's almost as if I mean the the coral here mm -hmm. looks almost alien. It's it's it, <laughs> you would you would think this would fit better on some alien planet than here on Earth, but it actually does exist here, and we have the capabilities to to raise it and learn from it in our homes. I have a home tank in my house. Wow where I can like grow the corals and appreciate them for their mm -hmm. color and beauty and their complexity. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these corals, I know, like the back of my hand, like they're, they're part <laughs> of my family back home. See, like you just said, they look like aliens and a lot of people don't know, probably don't know anything about corals. So mm -hmm. that shows how little we as humans know so little about corals, this important creature that supported not just marine life, but also humans. Yeah, so yeah. today in this life, we're gonna tell you all the fun facts and why corals are important. So, but before we take a tour in this lab, we're gonna invite another special guest. Sure. Hello, hi. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. My name is Ye Lao Shuang, and I'm a research assistant here in this lab. Mm. Yeah. So today you gonna like take a tour in this lab for us and uh -huh. also tell us more about this interesting lab? Okay, huh? so this lab, we collected over 100 species of corals here, uh -huh. and we are trying to breed in them under fully artificial environment. We're using the artificially light resources, mm -hmm. water resources, mm -hmm. the certification, uh, the filtration, certi circulation, and mm -hmm. also the temperature control system to provide a suitable right. uh, conditions for their growth. Sounds like a very complicated process, right? Yeah. So like, how about like our camera already just mm -hmm. uh, switch the position? So now maybe we can. Yeah, let's like, take a tour. Take it, right? Let's take a yeah. tour. So, uh, how about you lead the way? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we all see this huge tank. Um, there are all kinds of corals. I, I probably you can you yeah. can identify First off, all kinds of corals. How, right? how many liters is this tank? Do you how know many? how big? How how big? Um, like. It's like so huge. Can you tell so us about? Can count. you tell us about some of the corals in this tank and tell us what uh, what is their feeding schedule? How often do you feed them? Yeah, the feeding schedule, like we feed the there's a fish there, so we will feed the fish like once a day mm -hmm. because they will uh, control the algae growth in this tank. Mm -hmm. And for the corals, like maybe one or two times a week, mm -hmm. like. But we have to feed them in the day, uh, night time because mm -hmm. their tentacles are only stretchy yeah. at time at yeah. light. And in the daytime, they will through the photosynthesis, like the symbiotic zooxanthellae in there. Mm -hmm. The zooxanthellae through the photosynthesis, they will provide the nutrients for there. Oh, for them. that's a very interesting uh, fact. The light actually trickles into the water and feeds small microorganisms that live inside the corals. Mm -hmm. And so they have a very symbiotic relationship. It's a, it's a really fascinating animal. They're really, really interesting. So can you tell us why you guys need to study, like why you guys started this station, why you need to study all kinds of corals mm -hmm. like in a lab, why corals are important? Um, like the corals are the the basic species for the coral reef ecosystem, and this ecosystem is the most valuable and mm. the most biodiversity ecosystem on the world. Mm. 
We have different yeah. kinds of corals here. Yeah, of? this tank is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but this tank is mostly Acropora, yeah. right? Yeah. So Acropora are these branch-like corals. They look like trees almost. Exactly. But if you look really close, you can see each tree has a bunch of pimples on it, mm -hmm. little bumps. Mm -hmm. And each bump is a polyp, is a small piece of coral. And basically, if you think of a jellyfish, a coral yeah. is like a jellyfish that is embedded into the coral and it builds a stone house around it. Mm -hmm. And then his neighbor builds a stone house and his neighbor builds a stone house. So it's a building. It's and a it's, building. That's it's like, like an apartment complex. complex. It's <laughs> kind of like the buildings in Hong Kong, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a busy yeah, city in there. Right. So it looks like tree, but I think it will look different at night, right? Well, at night you'll see more of the, uh, tentacles. the tentacles. The, the actual tentacles fingers will come out at night. start coming out. Yeah. And so, they'll be feeding yeah. from the water column. Many people probably ha never had a chance to, to see, that, see, yeah. see this. They just think, it's a coral, it's like a tree, it's like a stone, yeah. but it's not. Especially at night, you will ch you know, they will change completely different. It's All amazing. the little creatures will come out to grab food. So, yeah, they're so they important. are not just, they are not boring trees. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so you have, so okay, how many, uh, how many corals do you have in this lab? Because w we see there are like three giant, no, not three. Yeah. Like one, multiple, two, three, four, so five. many. Yeah, multiple yeah. giant. Yeah, yeah. each tanks. section. Yeah. So, how many corals do you have here? In this lab, we have over 500. 500? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 500. Okay. Let's go in and now we're going to put a GoPro oh, in this. Oh, this is pretty wild, huh? And Check this take out. a look. So. Wow. Yeah, our so these are different really sorts one. of acropora, and you can see these are frags, right? They frags. call they call the independent uh, uh, pieces that you cut off the main one a frag. Mm -hmm. So you have all of these little frags. The cool thing about coral is that it's like a you can literally cut off one arm of a piece of coral and it will in turn grow an entire new piece of coral. Oh. So you have a real fascinating opportunity to grow corals back. back. Oh. You know, so if, if you only have one little piece of coral you, and you take care of it properly, yeah. you have a chance to save an entire community, an ecosystem worth of coral. These guys here, the clams are not corals, right? They're not clams. clams. No. No, they're a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I do love clams. They you are love beautiful. Clams. There are some clams uh, over here, and uh, in the other tank there are yeah. also clams. So we put an extra camera in the tank, so our viewers now you can see all these corals. Yeah, what a view tanks. that is. Yep. But like you can just do it by yourself because we wash this camera before we put it in. Yeah, to make sure you it's don't clean. want to contaminate the system. Yeah. And, uh, and dirty it up. Now, corals can come in two varieties. You can have hard corals, like these Acropora here. Which, which are hard corals? Which one? The hard corals are, are very hard. They're like stony, <laughs> stony, stony corals. Mm -hmm. But you can also have soft corals, like these mushrooms over here. Huh. And these mushrooms, um, they, obviously, you can tell. They're very, very soft. They're, yeah. they're beautiful. And oftentimes, their structures are different. For example, the Acropora will grow in branches and uh, long columns, whereas some of the softer corals have longer tentacles, mm -hmm. and they sort of stick down uh, lower to the bottom of the, of, the, of the tanks in many cases. They look very pretty, but very pretty. if any of you have any chance to do scuba diving Whoa. and see corals in the ocean by yourself, I suggest don't be too attracted by the colors. Don't touch them. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. because like corals, they look so pretty, but they are very vulnerable. Yeah, for um, sure any tiny change of the temperature or if you like any germs that we bring as a humans our fingers bring will hurt will, will kill them actually well One, yeah. yeah i mean there's four basic components that you need to keep uh, keep coral there's light there's water flow there's mm -hmm. water quality and there's temperature mm -hmm. any one of those factors that uh, goes awry or has a problem mm. and your coral has a chance to die so uh, that's why it's so interesting to keep corals in your house because you learn about all of those factors and it makes you appreciate the the uh, the lives of these corals and how complex it is like how the, complex they are are you shooting this yeah huge I'm shooting clams? the huge clam yeah so now you see this huge clams yeah. Some people you probably eat clams but not as <laughs> you don't as eat those these guys. Right? no you don't, don't eat, eat these that. guys but hey, actually, wanted... there's a giant clam. 
giant clams. And they are just the babies. Yeah. They yeah. are the babies. Yeah. These are babies. And the babies. <laughs> okay, how big can how big can they grow eventually? Yeah. Over one or two meters. Yep. One, oh my god. So this giant thing. clam, they're just babies. Yeah. Okay. One yeah. meter, one meter, two meters big clam. Yeah, amazing. Oh, and they get pretty it, old too. It will feed a lot of people. But that's not yeah. the concept <laughs> we're gonna promote. You, we shouldn't eat that much like marine life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and we need to be more sustainable with our uh, consumption of marine life yeah, for sure. Because we coexist. This is a wild tool. Right. So, okay. Uh, our, our viewers probably see this, uh, already seen this huge mm -hmm. clams. Actually, there are some fun facts about clams, right? There are some fun facts about clams. Okay, do you want to take sure. this camera out? It's very heavy. Heavy. I, I see like you're kind of like exhausted. <laughs> don't know what to do with this camera. <laughs> okay, we, can, we yeah. can hold it. Maybe just hold it for now. Yeah. Maybe you can hand it to our editor later. Yeah. But actually, uh, we have a question for you guys now who are watching. Mm -hmm. um, this the class. oldest organism in the world, the oldest animal in the world, I wouldn't say organism because I think maybe there's some trees that might have been older, but the <laughs> but oldest the animal in the world is a clam. Yeah, so their family, their sisters, one of their sisters yeah. is the longest living animal on earth. It actually, actually has the Guinness Book of World Records yeah. oldest animal. So now we're going to throw you a question. Yeah. If you get the correct answer, you will get a special gift from CGTN. We don't know too much about the detail of the present, but we heard it's uh, related to water. Yeah. Maybe something related to yachts. Yeah. So do leave your reply, do leave your answers in the comments sections uh, on Yang Shipin or uh, CGTN's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. If yeah. you're lucky enough, we will pick you and bring you this special gift. Okay, so now the question is, how long do you think? How old do okay. you think the oldest clam in the world ever recorded is? Is How it old? between 105 and 205 years old? Mm -hmm. Is it between 206 and 305 years old? Is it between 306 and 405 years old? Or is it 406 to 505 years old? Leave your answer in the comment section on CGTN. So if you're yeah. lucky, you will earn this special gift yeah. by doing, well, I won't yeah. review too much, yeah. Yeah. Don't but, don't the, the, <laughs> but you will have fun. You will regret it. So this is the clam. Yep. And uh, actually, if we look at here, you just mentioned the, mo the factors that are important for corals to live, yeah. like the, the light, uh, the temperature, yep. the flow. I think they have everything, right? Yep. So like over here, we have different lights. Yes. These lights are just not, not normalized, like from us. No, no. Yeah, like, I'm not sure whether the camera can catch it, but actually I can see different colors yep. of the light here, right? Yep. So they, all, they all produce a different spectrum of light. Mm -hmm. And that spectrum of light actually copies the light that is naturally occurring from the sun. Mm -hmm. And so you have to have a certain wavelength and spectrum of light that can penetrate down, uh -huh. that can in, in, in basically feed the zoenthe who are mm. inside the corals and then provide the corals with nutrients. So basically it means different wavelengths will result in different colors, those red colors on a coral? It can be, it can, it can affect the strength of the colors, no. like any one of the factors in in the, the world, whether it's water flow, water quality, the lights, or the temperature, mm -hmm. will affect the quality of the coral. And the quality of the coral can change in many ways, mm -hmm. whether it's growing fast or growing slow, whether mm -hmm. it's very vibrant or very dull. Oh. Um, and in some cases, it, it might even bleach, which is a big problem with the world today, is, is that a lot of the corals outside are mm -hmm. bleaching, which means the zoanthe yeah, exactly. exit the coral and they turn to white. You know? Exactly, like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia yeah. is one of the most fantastic uh, coral reefs in it's the amazing. world, but a lot of them are bleached. It's quite sad because like corals are important. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Like, like for, from here, we can see the vibrant colors. This is super orange. Yeah. That is super yellow and that is super green. It's yeah. something cannot be artificially made. It's yeah, natural. the variety of shapes and colors and styles mm. are, are just, it's, it's amazing. Like I said, it's almost like it's an alien life form. I mean, yeah. look at this right here. This is a leather toadstool. 
leather, leather. toad stool. Yeah, and you why, can, why they got in that the name? Well, toadstool. I mean, it's like a toad stool is where a frog would sit on it, and so uh, they kind of <laughs> like think it's like a toad stool. And when the uh, tendrils, when the fingers are mm -hmm. completely drawn in, it looks like leather, like you'd see on a leather ah. couch. So it has a consistency of leather. Okay, now we have some interesting creatures over here. Yeah, those are my favorite. Yeah, many of you probably already know from this Disney film, Finding Nemo. Yeah. And we have a bunch of Nemos here. And actually, Dory's are here as well. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole there's... bunch of clownfish in here. Yeah, so uh, maybe we can take a shot of those. There are a bunch of them. So here, yeah. uh, they are Nemos. In the Disney film, Finding Nemo, their name, their name is Nemo but actually they are clownfish. Yeah. And the orange one, the Nemo, is the orange clownfish, right? Yep, yep. So and then even over here, we have a tomato clown. Uh, are, there's a whole bunch of different varieties of clownfish. And clownfish are an extremely unique animal. They're all born as males. They're all men. Oh. And then, so you got a group of men, and the strongest man in the group, do you know what he turns into? He turns into a woman because the women are probably the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> so in yeah, reality, yeah. the Fending Nemo, the Nemo's father, will turn into Nemo's mother. If uh, Nemo's father stays on his own, he will end up turning into a uh, Nima. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, and, and the cool thing about uh, the clownfish is they actually have a symbiotic relationship with a lot of uh, certain types of organisms in the ocean. For example, yeah. an anemone is a type of, uh, that's it not is, an anemone. The anemone is over here. Maybe um, is that, maybe yeah. our cameraman can come here. And I'm what not sure how is, far I can get it. Is, There's a clownfish yeah. and that's the anemone. 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 Yeah, it took me some time to pronounce <laughs> this, that word, anemone. The uh, fingers on that anemone mm -hmm. actually have stinging cells, mm -hmm. and most animals cannot do what that clownfish is doing, which is living inside ah. of that. So the anemone protects the clownfish, and the clownfish in turn brings food scraps to the anemone. Yeah. So they actually work together, and in, in working together, they yeah. help each other out. And they get used to the like being stung by the yeah. poisonous stuff from yeah. anemone, right? I think if you have if you watch the Fanny Nemo, you probably are gonna remember the scene that when Dory yeah, and yeah. Uh, Nemo's father <laughs> yeah, was yeah. jumping on jellyfish. Yeah. Dory like fainted, pass out. Yeah. But uh, Nemo's father is okay, and he said, "Why?" Dory asked, "Why you won't yeah. get stung? Why you're okay?" So like, he, oh, this still sting me, yep. but I just got used to it. Yep. So now, combining the facts that you learned from the movie and with uh, what are we yeah. just showing you, you will learn a lot of interesting knowledge. True. Right. So uh, what do we have here? Oh, that's a testing kit, eh? Huh? <laughs> oh, hello, hello. This is Nemo. Uh, what is this? What is the this? solutions with the antibacterial, the medicines? Oh. When you cut off the corals, uh -huh. you should prevent the infections of, of the corals. Oh, yeah. So you give them a bath, like yeah. a uh, protective bath. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Have to give a bath. Yeah. To the corals. Just like if you cut your arm, you have to treat it yeah. and make sure that it doesn't get infected. Uh, corals are the same way. Is it easy to to do that now? Yeah. We can do that now? Okay, can you show us yeah. how to do it? Yeah. Right. These. They're going to grab a piece? I think so. Yeah. Ooh. Basically, what they're going to do right now is they're going to frag a piece, right? Mm -hmm. You're yeah. going to fragment, like frag is, stands for fragment. So they're going to take a small frag, a fragment of that coral, and then bathe it so that it doesn't uh, get infected. And from that frag, they uh -huh. can glue it onto another piece of uh, a plug here. These are called plugs. Mm -hmm. And then once they glue it on a plug, it will in turn grow into a coral about this size. So, or bigger, obviously. It's, the older it is, the bigger it'll get, you know? He's wearing gloves, so mm -hmm. he can touch this. Yeah. So if I'm not wearing gloves, I cannot touch it, right? You know, that's one of the big problems with um, people going out without understanding coral, going yeah. out into the world and doing scuba diving, mm -hmm. because they don't understand that all they have to do is touch that coral, and you actually wipe away a film, yeah. a layer of slime that keeps that coral alive. Mm -hmm. And when you wipe that off, oftentimes for a large brain coral, if you touch it with your hand hard enough, 
you'll you'll see a hand a, of okay. dead yeah, of print. dead coral yeah. imprinted on mm -hmm. the coral. It's, it's very sad, you know. But yeah. as long as we understand how to treat the corals, then we know not to yeah. do those things. So, so don't uh, do those things. Don't do that. If you do, either you are scuba diving or snorkeling, don't touch anything yeah. you see under the ocean, whether it's corals or fish. Uh, not just that, because sometimes we, we bring some germs to yeah, that is sure. lethal to yeah. those corals, right? Yeah. Let's okay. see him uh, frag see. this coral. But at the same time, you, he wearing the gloves, it also can prevent yourself, uh, yeah. oh, protect yeah. yourself, because it also has the stinging cells. For sure. Yeah, yeah and the mucus also can leave you oh. like, allergic yeah. to the... So hard, isn't it? Yeah. Just like uh, you were saying before, you got you got scratched by fire coral. Yeah. yeah. Uh, during my first scuba dive, I accidentally got stung by this fire coral, <laughs> and oh man, that was that's okay. hard. So this is super glue. Super glue. It's yeah. a L Arum Alpha. It's Aero some, Alpha. Yeah, it's yeah, some yeah. something that solidified very fast yeah. on the water. Yeah, you can literally glue it and then put it right back in the fish tank yeah. and then it will be solid. Mm. So, okay, there's your there's your surface. You're gonna oh. put a dollop of, uh, of super glue there. Yeah. And then you'll, it's very cool. It's almost like, it's art, you know? Like yeah. you can literally build these like little structures and then put them in the, the tank the way that you want it. Now he's gonna hold it together for a short period of time until the, uh, the uh, uh, glue sets, and then it should be standing on its own. And then eventually it will grow into a bigger coral like that? Uh, and even I mean, bigger? that little piece mm -hmm. has the capability to fill this whole room, given wow. enough time, you know, wow. like, like, you know, so, so that's one of the things that we need to understand is that all is not lost. As long as we have a little piece mm. of coral, we have a potential to bring the whole reef back. Wow, that's why they're doing this yeah, here. Yeah. And he put it over there? Yep. I have a bunch of friends that do this for a living. They, they take coral, they grow it, and then they clip it, and then they sell pieces to hobbyists all around the world. And that's another thing. You know, Tibet and Xinjiang, all of these areas, they might not have an ocean nearby, yep. but they can all help to solve the problem of losing reefs by having their own fish tanks set up mm -hmm. in all sorts of different places around the world. We can all do our part and then build this coral up, raise it to a mm -hmm. point, and then have it sent to a facility like this or sent into a facility where they can replant it into the so ocean. So that's why they are studying what environment, what temperature, what light is the best conditions for corals to grow so eventually they can bring corals to everywhere. England, like everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So people who never had a chance to see oceans or never have a chance to do scuba diving by themselves, they will have a chance to see a coral maybe in their own apartment, maybe in a shopping mall, and they can learn the knowledge how to yeah. protect corals, right? Yep, yep. Right. Uh, this is really fun, this station is really fun, but I think I heard there's another section yeah. there, right? That we've that let's has all near the ocean. Let's take a look. All right, let's yeah. take a look. Right. Uh, it's really interesting. Yeah. Mm. Have you been scuba diving? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as I know, most like uh, m marine biologists are also amazing scuba divers. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> they're like a top, like a top level scuba divers. Yeah. Because they have to do multiple dives all the time yeah. to study to actually investigate the things they're studying. So all these <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little jealous of you. Do you want to hire me? Can I be your intern? <laughs> Maybe I can just clean the fish tanks. So you have like the best job. All you have to do is hang out and deal with all of these amazing, beautiful corals. You know, I have my own at my house and I'm like, I have to pay for all this stuff, but you get, you get paid to check all this stuff out. It's not but fair. Hey, it's not fair. You, you earn money by traveling around. Uh, Most yeah, people yeah. will say the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm yeah, jealous yeah. of your job as a YouTuber, as a vlogger, right? Yeah, yeah, I love See? telling stories. Yeah, this is amazing. How do you like your job? A lot. Actually, a lot. that's why I choose this job. That's where, great. Uh, yeah. Where are you from? I'm, I'm actually from Yunnan. Somewhere don't have the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how were you introduced to it then? Did you uh, see it in school or how were you introduced to corals? Yeah, actually I was learning the marine biotechnology in my 
uh, I have a bachelor's degree for okay. this. Ah, oh, wow. So I, I came here for internship and then I will continue my master's degree for coral reefs. That's wow. so neat. That's so neat. Right. So uh, actually, yeah. Keep... What are these Wait, trucks over here? There is something interesting over there, <laughs> but don't don't rush because later we're gonna show you. We see we're seeing something very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so this is the this is the, this institute mm -hmm. uh, belongs to Chinese Academy of Science. Chinese Academy of Science, yeah. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna show you what we're seeing now. Like we are facing yeah, we'll the catch ocean. Catch up with you later. Yeah, <laughs> we are facing this huge ocean. Fantastic view. Oh, what a view! What, what a, a view! view. Downtown Sanya. Yeah. Look at all that. The the beauty. I mean, the architecture in China, especially along the coast, is just so beautiful. I love <laughs> to see that like blue water, and then just these beautiful like mm -hmm. building structures popping yeah. up along the coast. It's gorgeous. And, and right then, now, this. our viewers probably seeing these several huge cars. These cars are actually the reason that you guys can see us now yeah. because they are sending our image to Beijing, to different parts of the world. And uh, this, you think those we can cars take a look? From, yeah, sure. And this, you see the logo that because belongs to Sansha Satellite Television, they are borrowing us. So like we can oh. use this. It's a mobile studio. Let's take a look, right? Let's take a look. Right. What do you think is inside? <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Howdy. I'm gonna walk. Holy moly, that's my, Ooh, my back. That's my feet. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I'm seeing myself. Holy moly. This is incredible. Wow, hey. There are so many screens. That means that we have so many cameras shooting us uh, right now. Wow. And actually, I feel like, uh, oh. that's why. Oh, here, here's the camera, huh? Hello, guys. Oh no, you are blocking. You are blocking my camera, stealing my show again. <laughs> but well, see, you know, I have produced uh, thousands plus videos on mm -hmm. my YouTube channel, and I do it all from a little laptop. To see this is just incredible. Incredible, incredible. So all these cameras are like, see, like we are doing a show. You probably just use one camera to shoot sh sh yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. But actually, for for a show like this, we have so many crews, so many cameramen, so many editors yeah. uh, working at the same time to make sure you guys can see this live stream right now. It's amazing, and everybody's right? like mixing shots together, and there's yeah. sound, and there's all sorts of blending. It's, it's this really is strange. Incredible. This is very strange. When, while I'm, we are doing this live stream, I'm seeing myself, seeing you yeah. at the same time. It's yeah. kind of weird. But like, okay, let, let's leave it. I have a big nose. I have, a, yes. I have an enormous nose. Yes. I normally don't see myself like, hey, from this man, angle. Don't, be, don't get too excited. <laughs> like, let this wor guys okay, work, guys okay. work, right? <laughs> Jaya, Jaya. <laughs> they don't even want to talk to us, right? You see how dedicated they are. <laughs> Inside, they're probably saying, get out. <laughs> Hello, guys. Wow. We're back. You know what the nice thing about that? Yeah. It's air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. Oh, it's a little sweaty. It's a little sweaty. I'm feeling yeah. good now. Re yeah. Recharge. Oh, I miss the air conditioner. <laughs> but see, like this is the interesting thing that man many people don't know about yeah. uh, a TV show or an online yeah. show like this. Um, you are seeing one screen. But actually, before this show, we have this, such a large crew, yeah. like those people working in that studio. And actually, be, right behind this camera, there's a, like yeah. four or six men. Robocop. <laughs> Robocop, yeah. right over there. Five or six men. <laughs> like this guy holding this camera is a tall guy holding a steady cam. And there's other cameraman crew working. And we're the one taking credits. Yeah. It's not just us. It's not just us. The whole us. team. Yeah. You know, I've produced so many videos by myself and even cooperating with different entities. Mm -hmm. But this has been the largest crew I've ever dealt with. And what an interesting what an interesting perspective to see everybody working on their independent roles. Mm -hmm. You know, to try to make one big product, our, us telling you about really? this place and these things. It's really impressive. Just, okay, so after seeing this, joining this show, will you consider applying a position <laughs> oh. or a job at a CGTN? Are you hiring? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bringing this up, something to consider. And for any of you who want to look like us, yeah. who want to do the things we are doing right now, actually CGTN now has a a huge complaint campaign mm -hmm. complaint? contest did I, just, <laughs> did I just say complaint no my no boss complaint. will will criticize me well well you got a huge problem Jing Jing but actually we have a huge campaign CETN global media challengers campaign that's because right now we are hiring journalists on-camera presenters and vloggers yeah. influencers DJs 
Yes. <laughs> DJs. <laughs> DJs. Are you a DJ? <laughs> See, like, and from everywhere. So if you're interested in being a journalist, on-camera presenter, influencer. Yeah, maybe you can get a job. Us. Yeah, apply. <laughs> we have a huge com competition going on. So join us. And Matt, mm -hmm. if you don't want to be an independent YouTuber <laughs> longer anymore, you can also apply for a job at CGTN. So do go to CGTN's website, social network, to search for more information about this huge campaign of being an influencer for CGTN. And now What's we this place? approve this place. Okay, what is here? This is different. This is different. Ooh. Wow. These are um, okay. So, so many tanks. So, so what is the significance of this place? How is this different from the, the internal area? Yeah, the internal area, we use the artificial seawater, but here's all the water from the ocean. Yeah. Artificial seawaters? Yeah, wow, the indoors okay. are artificial, but these are the... Real seawater. Yeah, oh, real okay, seawater okay. after the filtration. Wow, so... So you're still filtering. You're taking it from the outside and you're filtering it and then yeah. putting it into here. Wow. What, what is this? Seaweed? This is some algae. 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 Yeah. yeah. Ah. There's so many tanks. Wow. Yeah, this tanks for the temporarily keep the corals. Temporarily? Yeah, temporarily. Why, we, why they have to be like kept here for temp temporary? Uh, because we we are collect some samples for the research. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so these samples will be temporarily keep here after the the experiment, we will oh. transplant them back to the sea. You'll put them back? Yeah, put okay. them back. Okay. There's so many tanks. Let, let's let's take a look at what's over there. These that looks like fire coral right there almost. No, no, no. They're not. They are <laughs> similar, similar, similar looking. Similar looking. Similar looking. Similar looking. Bring <laughs> back bad memories. No. Those troublemakers. Okay. Fantastic. Now you talk about experiments. What mm. sort of experiments are you doing? Yeah. Are you playing with water quality? Are you playing with light sources? Are you do using additives to try to see yeah. the reactions? Mm. Many aspects. We are trying to find the uh, influence of the temperature, okay. the acidification, yeah. also some like the nutrient salt. Mm. We will do some mm. like experiments to verify the what influence on them. Guys? Yeah. Guys? What? Oh, hey, oh. Hey. We have some sea hey. turtles. Hello, buddy. Hello. Oh, it it nice. is safe we touch them? Yeah, yeah, you can touch the back. Just the Thanks. shell, just the shell. But okay. they, they can bite you, so don't. Don't touch the head, <laughs> just yeah. the back. Yeah, okay. Just the back. Yeah. Uh, so why these sea turtles are here? Yeah, these sea turtles, some uh, find uh, catch by the fishermen. Oh. Yeah, and they will report to the policeman oh. or the ocean administration. Oh. They don't not have allowed to catch sea turtles. Yeah, uh, they are allowed. rescued. Yeah. They are rescued. So they are yeah. the protective animals that yeah, yeah, normal yeah. people shouldn't have. Like citizens, fishermen shouldn't have at their home. Uh -huh. so, so this also the temporary keep. If the, uh, some are too like young, too young or get hurt, yeah. and they cure, they will send Repeated. back to the oh, ocean. So, yeah. So they are just living here temporarily. Right. Tem and after they fully yeah. healed, so rehabilitated. Ready, yeah. We're gonna send them back to the ocean. Cool. But some of them are from like the uh, the f fishermen that so grow up them from a very small oh. one, and they don't have the ability to live in the natural. This uh, this type of they have to stay here their whole life. Oh. But we will cooperate with the like the aquarium. Mm. I will send it oh. there. Oh, okay. So do you have do you have some of any any of these turtles or animals that have gone to like Atlantis uh, Aquarium or anything like that? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. That. Okay, okay. I don't yeah. know where Interesting. They yeah. For those sea turtles, sea turtles that have never been to the ocean, it's yeah. safer for them to stay here. Yeah. Just like cats. Uh, yeah, like, they're not. They're domesticated, basically. Yeah, they're domesticated. Exactly. So I, I assume there are different kinds of turtles, right? Those are turtles. The green turtles. Green turtles. Yeah. Here's one hawksbill turtle. Foxtail. Which one? Yeah. Hawksbill. One. That one's oh, hawksbill. Oh, the little one. Oh, this little one. He's got some pep in his step. Oh, oh, see, because it's the shape. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah. Hat, the, hat, the, hat, sh uh, the shape of the hat. The different. And the, the back color is different. Oh, yeah, so that's the hawk. Yeah, it has a beak almost. The beak looks different. So, even though they all look like turtles, but this one is actually hawk's bill. When, if you have a chance to do scuba diving in the ocean, yeah. 
check the color of the shell and also the shape of the head. The largest turtle yes. in the world is a leatherback, right? The le leatherback, the yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I I've think seen so. some of those. Yeah. They're really enormous. Some turtles can be enormous, mm -hmm. like enormous. like almost as big as I am yeah. tall. They're really, yeah. really incredible. So I swam with some turtles in ocean when the oh, other they're kissing. <laughs> oh. oh, they're in love. <laughs> like showing all the love yeah. right in front of us. So, okay, what about these bins? I noticed you you're, have, a, have, a, have a focus on clams. You have, yeah. you have some, like, adolescents, and then you have some babies, babies. Uh -huh. why, why is the focus on clams? Like the... Their importance. They also are some protect uh, animals, organisms. Yeah. And they also, because uh, ah. the giant clams are big caught by the fishermen for some products okay. they for selling because their shells are very beautiful. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, the big shells. Yeah, yeah. So, you see, like, I'm looking at my phone, but I'm not just, like, playing <laughs> with my phone during this live stream because my editors at the studio just sent me some comments from you guys. I'm going to read some. Okay. Because, because I think you just asked, uh, what's uh, how old is the oldest uh, clams? Oh, we well, talk about a lot of clams. Yeah. So this one guy, I think the oldest clam possibly is 300, 305 and 407 years old. Do you think that's the correct answer? Well, it looks like there's two answers there. Oh, 305 to 407. Mm -hmm. No, you're close. You're close, close. <laughs> but mm, right. So we also have some corals. These are all from Facebook. Oh, okay. We have so many viewers watching from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you. And this also from Facebook. Oh, amazing corals looking so good. Thank you. Virat Singh Shandal said, would you like to show a starfish and, and flying fish? Well, I don't think you have any flying fish here. No. They would be literally <laughs> flying out of the fish tank. <laughs> have you ever seen a flying fish before? Yeah, I have They're been. pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really, really yeah. beautiful. But they're out in the open ocean. But I think you have a starfish over here. We can, really? we can, we have we can show him. There? Let's see. Yeah, oh, yeah hey. we have a starfish right here. OK, so why the two legs are folded? <laughs> Maybe he's doing yoga. I think <laughs> he's doing that yoga. Star? That's a yeah. starfish, yeah. but as for some reason, two legs are folded. Wow. So it must be some starfish yoga thing. Yeah. Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> Pilates. Are these fish are chased, are they also like rescues? No, 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 no. these fish are ready for put in the, old, uh, the big tanks. Oh. Yeah. But before they get into the system, they have to... Quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so they're doing the quarantine here. Yeah, you're, you're, you, do you have medicine in there just in case they have ick or some yeah. sort of, uh, yeah. Wow, so they are doing the quarantine here. Yep. It reminds me yeah, of the time yeah, out yeah, yeah, the quarantine. Right, right. I did, I did quarantine too, guys. You're not alone. You're not alone. I feel you, guys. I feel you. I know what you feel. A lot of people understand your pain yeah. right now. But you will get out soon. You will get to the bigger tanks with all the corals. This is a really interesting yeah. journey. Yeah, I am very jealous of you. You have a very nice <laughs> job, honestly. So, okay, Matt, you yeah. have a huge passion for corals. You even grow, like, grow corals by yourself. Yeah. So what do you think about here? What do you think about this station? Well, this is amazing. You know, like, like I, you know, I have a daughter, and she's five, mm -hmm. and she's growing up, and she you know, has an opportunity to see this future world. And I want her to be able to see the world mm -hmm. that I have seen. And there's so many species that are being lost and so many things that I have seen that I'm worried that my, my, my kids won't be able to see. Yeah. But these sorts of places give me hope mm -hmm. that there's, there's somebody fighting for the corals, you know? You're, exactly. you're a, you you're a coral the superhero, yes. you know? And the more people like you out there, the more people focusing on, on making sure that we don't ruin this beautiful world yeah. that we have, the better off we're going to be. Yeah. So I look at this place and it gives me a lot of hope. Yeah. You know, like we have certain knowledge, certain amount of knowledge about the marine life, but yeah. a lot of people, they just, they probably think corals are corals. They are yeah. rocks, they're boring. What's the importance for corals? But actually corals are very important, yeah. like a quarter of all marine life live 
like uh, live their life on corals. Yeah, they're dependent well, on, on corals. corals. Now yeah. also corals is the uh, coral reefs are the major thing that stop like reduce the wave powers heating the land. Yeah. And also a lot of humans are living make a living based on like fishing yeah. Yeah. or with the coral related related businesses. So corals it's very important not not just to the ocean, not just to the marine life, also important to us as humans. Yeah, we sure. all coexist together, yeah. right? I mean we we need to respect the smallest organisms and the largest organisms because mm. they're all interconnected. Yeah. You know? We think we are the smartest species, but actually we are not. Humans are not the smartest species, but I think we respect each other, all like living animals, all species. Mm. <laughs> so I'm so glad to see that people here, scientists here are making this great effort, saving the corals, <laughs> saving the marine life here. Thank you so much, our Thank hero. You. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Thank you for watching. That's yeah. our life. And do, still keep following our tides of change because you see the corals now in the station. But tomorrow, me and Matt, we Is that will... tomorrow? Yes. Are we going? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> you know, th this is a beautiful, but seeing them in their natural habitat, mm -hmm is even more interesting and also actually taking part. I think we're actually going to be fragging and cutting and yeah. actually helping the reef. And yeah. so we're gonna go out there and we're gonna show you how, how scientists and engineers and people are going out into the reefs and helping to regrow our, our, our reef ecosystem here yeah. in, in Sanya. So tomorrow, stay tuned with CGTN as we go scuba diving in the ocean with uh, scientists plotting corals in the South China Sea. We will be causing tides of change. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned with the CGTN, tides of change. Tides of change. Bye. Bye-bye.